I see a <laughs> scorpion. All right, my scorpions, I'm so sorry. All right, it it is the energy vibration psychic love reading for um the month of October. I want to say um my apology for the lateness of your love readings. It is because I had some uh, medical thing issues that I needed to do and I could not come on camera with my face looking like that all right um scorpions you are having love triangle with uh, what is coming up for you scorpions um people between the ages of uh, um 18 and 25 or having some love triangles with your um, twin flame okay so this is what I came out first for you scorpions so love triangle with your twin flame so some of you between the ages of 18 and 45 or having some love uh, triangles with your twin flame now whoever you are and whatever is transparent it is for people between the ages of 18 and 25 that you could be meeting your love your your twin flames but um, it is an energy of uh, um, you are all in love triangles okay so it's as if uh, um, your twin flame or you is in a love triangle so this is for you scorpions and this is coming up for scorpions between the ages of 18 and 35 18 and 35 you're having love triangles between you and uh, your twin flame or soulmate okay but this is coming up as a twin flame so there is someone out there it could be a message for someone out there who knows that they're with their twin flame or is finding their twin flame but their twin flame is in a love triangle okay so we're going to put these back in the decks i want to um say thank you so much for returning to the love psychic reading and from up now because these reading are free front of now you can just look every month just type in um love psychic reading and the month and you will find these free readings okay Please remember to check out the monthly readings to see if uh, the same message comes up in the monthly reading. These readings are timeless. They're timeless, so you can go back and check out from 2015, 2018 to see what is coming up or if issues are coming in those readings because my readings are timeless. Okay, I can put, I can say because I have to put the date time when I've done the reading, but my reading or timeless okay some of you could be dealing with divorce I'm seeing that whatever this issue is um, this is going to affect a lot of you in relationship relationships could be ending marriage could be ending this is a situation that is going to affect a lot of you out there okay so let's see what is um, transpiring around this energy so we see children and family coming up um, so um, children are going to be affecting your relationship your love life I'm seeing fun times coming up I'm seeing some of you spending more times with your kids and that's why you're having a block with your love life okay so whatever is transpiring out there for a lot of you what is transpiring is that your love life you have no fun in your love life because and it's blocked and it's because you are more focusing on your children and there's nothing wrong with that because it's okay I'm seeing the people who have given up on love um, um, some of you uh, have given up on love because you're so focused on the children okay I'm seeing friendship bonds it's going to be created between you and others because it's as if you have met people and it feels so good but you are chosen not to be in a relationship with these people but you're just going to be keeping them as friends okay so you could meet someone and the, the the feelings of love comes up but you're deciding just to keep these people as friends for whatever reason it is I'm seeing a spiritual gift is coming in I'm seeing that some of you your love life was blocked for some time and now it's as if the universe is going to grant you the love of your life okay so um, that is really wonderful to see now I'm seeing some of you divorcing and you're divorcing but yet still you're connecting 
with the person in friendship so it's as if you're divorcing from someone but you're going to be keeping them as friends so some of you are dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and you're ending the relationship with this person um, for whatever the reason is you decide to end the relationship with this person some of you could be divorcing from an Aquarian Gemini or Libra some of you or um, women or cutting through um, uh, issue in your your love life you're trying to figure out uh, something about an issue in your love life I'm seeing a lot of dating coming in and via dating the universe is going to be sending some of you a spiritual partner okay so via dating the universe is going to be sending you in a spiritual partner and this is going to be good so wonderful energies are definitely coming up for you scorpion especially in love in this month then we see a karma issue so, so some of you ladies are going through a karma issue in your love life in your love relationship you're going to a karma issue um, whatever this karma issue is is that I'm trying you're trying to figure out something about your relationship your partner your marriage you ladies are really getting to the bottom of a situation then I see a lot of passion that is coming up and this is going to be good some of you could be meeting a lawyer a doctor um, someone in a high professional and you're connecting with this person and the passion is just off the chart and this is good okay I am seeing some of you getting divorced but yet still you're still having hot passion with this person I don't know why you're getting divorced you business ladies I am seeing that you're dating and the universe is going to be sending you someone this is coming from a spiritual um, point of view okay this person who is coming in is coming in from a spiritual point of view so whatever is happening whatever is transpiring you business women someone you're dating and someone the universe is going to be providing someone via work um, coming through the work um, uh, so it says whoever this person is is coming via work okay um, true love is here true gem someone unexpected is going to be coming in this person you have had karma with and you need to clear karma with this person but it's really someone who really loves you and is uh, the love of your life okay and it's going to be affecting the latest because I'm seeing you trying to figure out who this person is and how the person affects your life then we see some love triangles people who are in a hot passion you're they're having there's love triangle with people uh, so you could be mul um, uh, having multi partners or you could be having um, dating other people in the sense that you are changing partners and that sort of a um, thing so this is definitely going, uh, coming up and it's a karmatic situation I see and the last message that is here is that new love is coming in for you Scorpio so especially you business people professional business people um, um, new love is coming in especially you business women new love is coming in for you whatever that was going on whatever that is transpiring I'm seeing that people are looking at you and you're not aware of that and they want to connect with you um, in love Mm. and again my apologies um, that the reading are so late but um, my face was <laughs> I did some <laughs> some um, thing there and I couldn't come on camera with it. <laughs> so um, that's the reason why okay so as we look at your love reading we're seeing children children is affecting most of you ladies life okay so that's why you're singles that's why you have no love life it's because of children and I'm seeing you mostly focusing on your kids okay I'm seeing you most mostly focus on your kids now somebody was thinking about something somebody was thinking about something out there and it has to do with a love triangle because this fell out in it reverse and if you were wondering if your partner was seeing someone whoever was just thinking about your partner and wondering it's a no it's a no they're not seeing anyone okay they're not romantic or flirting it's a no okay so this came out in the reverse so if some of you were wondering if your partners were seeing other people it's a no because it fell out in the reverse but first we're going to be looking at this especially for the single ladies um, who have kids 
kids are an effect that is affecting your life okay so it's not that there is no one else it's not that you're not going to have a relationship but you're so focused with the kids at the moment and that is the reason why so I'm seeing a lot of you getting divorced but yet still you're going to be keeping the friendship and you're still going to be having these really passionate sex life and some of you who get divorced now is going to be coming back with each other next year because what has happened and what is transpiring is that you realize that the passion is still there and the love is still there and you're going to be after a year you're going to be coming back to each other so that is wonderful um, to know so if you like you know get divorced and the divorce is finally settled this year next year a year later you're going to be coming back because you um, you know it's as if you learn to work with the issues with the kids and the family and um, your partner is gonna say you know I, I, I want you back so this is going to be good yeah so I'm seeing um, um, some of you ladies some of you singles need to find some fun time some of you people who were single for a while who had kids that you were looking after your kids because your partner you had divorced and that sort of a thing I'm seeing you're going to be meeting someone now this person could be a lawyer or working with uh, um, the legal in the legal system or a doctor but I'm seeing you meeting this man and it's as if this man was um, meant for you okay so it could be a lawyer or so he could have been working on your case but it could be also a surgery a surgeon um, a surgeon or someone who does uh, clinical um, you know tox Botox and that sort of a thing and you were single you were just focusing on your kids you're going to be meeting this person unexpectedly and it's as if the universe have sent this person to you I'm seeing some blocks sometimes that you want to go connect with a person, but there are some blocks and it has to do with the kids because you can't find um, someone. But I'm seeing that this person really is holding on to you in a friendship bond because they don't want to lose you. You're, you know, and some of you um, who were seen as a doctor or a, um, um, uh, someone who does plastic surgery or something like that this person is really holding on to you because they they really believe in you and they really realize a lot of you are going to be connecting to these doctors or i professional people who are lawyers doctors lawyers um you know in different um specialists but i'm seeing them coming in and as if you scorpions are going to because you you scorpion have to deal with some karmatic situation some of you scorpion are really wondering if someone you're seeing is having room and it's a no it's a no um there is no one else okay some of you could be thinking that your partner is seeing someone at their work no it's a no this person at work is just um, someone who dates a lot of people and flirts a, a, a around so don't worry about it especially you ladies you ladies are wondering if your husband is seeing the secretary or someone at work no I'm not seeing anything right now whenever we go deeper in the reading then I will be able to see that so um, I'm seeing karmatic situation that is happening and people who are in um, love triangles there's a lot of passion but um, you're trying to get out okay give this relationship a chance so this came up for the single people who are um, you know have met someone but because of the kids for some of you and for some of you is that you're afraid to go out there they are saying give this relationship a chance because it's going to be turning out good and the person is going to wait on on you until you're capable a wedding is coming up for some of you so some of you are definitely going to be offered the ends in marriage some of you are going to be getting married and this is going to be wonderful whatever that is coming up and opening up for you take it because this person really loves you and really wants to be with you but for some of you there is a block so you got to be aware that someone and the blocks is going to be lifted so what is transpiring is that some of you wanted to get married for a very long time but there was a block and now the block is going to be lifted and you both are going to be getting married so this is good so keep an open mind is for you ladies 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 keep an open mind especially the ladies that are singles and the ladies that are divorced keep an open mind because um, a new love is going to be coming in whatever is happening whatever is transpiring keep an open mind because a new love is going to be coming in it's not the end of the world sometimes you have finished karmatic situation with your partner you got to move on and this is just one of the time 
finance and career is an issue because I'm seeing some of you want to go dating but because of your financial situation you're protecting your kids and you know you're doing this all alone and it's not that you don't want to go out with your girlfriends and it's not that you don't want to meet someone else but because of the kids and your financial situation this is what is transpiring so be aware of this and don't worry about this because it's going to be working out this could be the one for you so some of you ladies have met someone the passion is off the chart some of you ladies have met someone the passion is off the chart men and women 45 years and older professional people you have met someone the passion is off the chart it is a yes go ahead because it could be the one for you okay so you women and men professional people um, is coming up for the lawyers doctor police people in the legal section you have met someone the passion is off the chart you're wondering if this is the one for you yes this person is the one for you okay isn't this good yes it is um eel in family issues and this is coming up for the people who has been dating 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 and having some um really connection um, what is what is transpiring for you scorpion is especially for you ladies you business women 45 years and older um, you need to heal a family issue whatever is going on was there a divorce was there issues between you and your partner you need to heal this family issue whatever the situation is and the situation was you definitely need to heal this family issue okay now with new love that is coming in I'm seeing engagement coming up for some of you some of you want to get engaged and some of you are going to be getting engaged so marriage and engagement is the um, is, is, is coming up a lot for you guys because I'm seeing some of you um, your birthdays are coming up and I'm seeing engagement and love is coming in so um, if you celebrate your birthday end of October happy birthday to you um, as um, scorpions and some of you will be getting engaged or some of you um, are going to be asked the ends of marriage and definitely marriage because some of you wanted to get married for quite a long time and it was like it was blocked and now the blocks are lifting and with the blocks lifting I'm seeing engagement coming in some of you are wondering about a love triangle if your other partner but let it go because this um, um, love triangle if there was even one it is now ended because uh, that is one of the reason why you have not um, decided um, to marry this person because you had thought that there was a love triangle and now you're receiving a message that there is no love triangle it's okay it's okay to make this decision and go ahead okay so let's see who you're going to be connecting with especially with the kids so I'm seeing some heartbreak coming up for some of you kid um, some of you um, with your kids I'm seeing some heartbreak coming up and um, whatever the relationship is between you and your kid the universe is saying give it a try so forgiveness is the key yes forgiveness is the key now some of you are going to be having some fun with an Gemini and some of you need to give a Gemini um, some of you a marriage is blocked between you and a Gemini it's not meant to be okay um, some of you are going to be um, wanted to marry a Capricorn this was blocked uh, or Taurus this was blocked some of you wanted to marry a Taurus um, this was blocked but this block is going to be lifted okay so some of you have always wanted to marry a Taurus it was blocked but this block is going to be lifted okay so this is good then we have this lady coming in some of you whatever the issue is and the situation is this lady um, some of you needs to keep an open mind some of you um, men um, who, are, who are not in a relationship could have a met um, or in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this could also be your mom you need to give this person a chance okay open your eyes and realize what is happening because this person has helped you out of a situation that you weren't aware of okay so you need to forgive your mom for whatever it is so give forgive your mom for whatever it is because she has 
work to help you out of a situation this is coming up for someone out there that is listening now some of you are with um, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman 45 years and older I am seeing that you need to give this relationship a chance okay you definitely need to give this relationship a chance I'm seeing a lot of people communication is going to be the key in your um, in whatever is transpiring in your world in your in in your marriage career communication is is the key and they're saying before you decide to end the marriage you need to talk and communicate and let the other person know what is going on how you feel do not just get up and end your marriage I'm seeing spiritual some of you are going to be meeting a a Pisces some of you are going to be um, meeting a Pisces whoever the Pisces is that is coming in a, um, um, who is coming in your life it could be some of you need to speak if this Pisces is your partner you need to speak to this person some of you are in a relationship with a Pisces and because of financial situation you're having some hardship do not let go of your relationship because of that now some of you are in a relationship with a um, with a um, Gemini um, you are trying to figure out this Gemini and this Gemini is trying to figure you out okay so whoever is in a relationship with a Gemini you're trying to figure this Gemini out and this Gemini is trying to figure you out but you need to keep an open mind because this Gemini is the person for you It's as if you both are the shadow the twin flame of each other where you're checking out this Gemini and trying to figure out is this Gemini the one and the Gemini is uh, doing the same thing yes you both are meant to be okay so all right so I'm seeing an energy here where um, some of you could be getting divorced from um, an older person so this is for the people for five years and older you could be getting divorced from uh, Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay some of you could be getting divorced from an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay some of you need to heal the relationship between you and your ex if it's you have an ex that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius four to five years and older this could be also coming up as your mom because this is a love reading and the children and the mothers always pop up in the love reading so you need to heal this energy some of you could be leaving an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, woman 45 years and older for a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman 45 years or older okay so this is also coming up some of you are having a karmatic relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman 45 years and older so you men look out for these because they're coming up then I'm seeing some of you um, people who are dating the people who are dating you need to heal some family issues that is why you have so much partners that is why you're dating and you can't make a decision to settle down is because it's coming from family issues so you need to resolve this some of you are dating a lot because you're looking for financial assistance so some of you are dating a lot and some of you could be meeting people and dating and these people are only there for your money so be aware of this okay karma is coming up with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn so if you are in a relationship with a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn they're not seeing anyone else because some of you think that they were flirting seeing other people no they are considering whether or not you're the one because they're having very strong feelings for you and that is the reason why you think they might be cheating but they're not cheating if you were looking to return to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person they're open um, for this okay they are open for this so I'm seeing some judgment call coming down because some of you who are having multiple partners and some of you who are having these multiple partner in a hot relationship and if you are in a love triangle with more than three persons they're going to be it's going to be coming out okay so if you are in a love triangle with multiple partners um, this is going to be coming out because I'm seeing it there is an issue where a family member is going to be telling some your partner some of you be aware a family member is going to tell your partner that you have been seeing other people so you gotta be aware of what is happening because it's not this family member business but they're going to be telling your partner whether your wife or your husband that you're seeing other people you're going to be ending a lot of you are going to be ending um, a relationship with with 
another cancer some of you are going to be ending a relationship with another cancer so let's say you're 45 years and older and you were in a relationship with another cancer I'm seeing you ending this relationship okay all right um, some of you are going to be um, um, like um, ending um, someone new is coming in for some of you if you are in a relationship you're going to be meeting someone new and whoever this person is is a true gem this person um, you are going to definitely know as you meet this person that this person was meant to be okay whatever is happening between you and this person you're feeling this you know that this is the person for you so you're meeting someone new it's not a twin flame it's not a soulmate but you're going to be knowing that this person doesn't play around this person is honest there is no one else in this person life and it's going to be good some of you are going to get engaged to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn some of you have been um, um, thinking about it thinking about it, thinking about it and now you're gonna pop the question around the birthday time if you are or the person is gonna pop the question on your birthday okay because your birthday is coming up so um, for the people who are end of uh, um, October your birthdays are coming up so a question is going to be popped to, to you whether or not you want to be in this relationship okay I'm seeing some of you and new love is coming in for you but it's as if you're protecting yourself you're like um, mm, I don't know I don't really want to be in this relationship so whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring I'm seeing someone who really loves you who really cares for you is coming in but it's as if you're protecting yourself from this person whatever that is going on you're definitely just protecting yourself from this person it's as if you're thinking I really don't want to open up myself to anyone because I've been so hurt in the past so I'm seeing this coming up for some of you but definitely some of you are definitely going to be getting engaged some of you who um, who have been in a relationship with someone for quite a long time you're gonna pop the question or the question is going to be popped to you and it's gonna be yes and if you decide to marry this person it's going to be a marriage that is going to be lasting for a very very long time so ladies and gentlemen communication is the key for the people who are married whatever is transpiring before you make a decision to end your marriage communication is the key as you communicate with this person it's going to be working out if you want to return to someone or if you want to apologize I'm seeing apology or you guys are going to be apologizing to a relationship or someone you were in a relationship with and they are going to be accepting this apology and you guys are going to be moving forward some of you are going to decide to marry to someone and you both are going to be create uh, creating like um, creating a, a business together and it's going to be a very 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 um, lucrative business okay so if you are in a relationship with someone you're going to decide to marry to this person and it's going to be a very very lucrative relationship so go ahead pop the question I love you guys please leave a message let me know how your month of October and I'm so sorry for um, the readings I'm still dealing with this but at least the swelling is down because I did some dental work namaste until next time